City 105 is on the fan with truly your number one lifestyle station. You just heard that inspiring song, You A God by Tommy Favored. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? She joins me for breakfast this morning. Okay. Tommy, how are you doing? I am well. Thank you so much for I was just, uh, you know, talking about some skill you did there with your vocals, and I was like, what? You sing fire. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, so talk to me about You A God. First stuff, yes. right? Um, How was it like? Because I know... I feel it's kind of a, a little bit of pressure. Yes, mm -hmm. I know things are changing now. Yeah, yeah. You know, gospel artists, you know, kind of cashing out yeah. compared to back in the day. Yeah, but yeah. still, when you compare them to probably circular artists, yeah. the gap is still there. Yeah. So, but why do you still choose to do gospel music? You know what? The thing is, you have to have content in whatever you're doing. Okay. You have to create content. You know, as a musician, you're a content creator. Okay. So, I have to create the kind of content I know forever and ever I have content for. And for me, um, just my faith in Jesus Christ is something I can talk about. You wake me up at 2 in the morning, I can talk about Jesus all day. And so that's why I chose to do gospel, because that's where I have content. That's where I have a message. Because at the end of the day, people are not just going to listen to you because you have a good rhythm or whatever. They want to hear something that, that affects them. You know what I mean? That's okay. how you connect with people. So for me, I'm like, hey, gospel, that's what I love, that's what I know, that's what I understand, that's what I can talk to anybody about at any time. Okay, so, I mean, in your song, we can hear it, like, I can visually hear Jesus, the name yes. Jesus called, like, three to four times. Yes, yes. But sometimes you hear artists who are also gospel artists yes. say, you don't necessarily have to mention Jesus oh, in your yeah. songs, or that we're intentional yeah. about that, or... I was very intentional about that. Actually, a couple of years ago, I got offered a record deal okay. with a, a pretty nice record label, and at the time, they were willing to sign me if I wouldn't say the name Jesus. And they were actually deliberate about saying, hey, you know, you can say God, or you can <laughs> say, you know, him, yeah. or whatever. But yeah, I just don't say Jesus. And I literally turned down that record deal. Because I was like, no, nah, there's something about the name Jesus. And like, I'm not ashamed of that name. I mean, you got people saying F words, B words on radio, like, why can't I say Jesus? Mm -hmm. And so I decided to be an independent artist, and that's what I've been ever since because I'm deliberate about, hey, I'm going to say Jesus if I want to. <laughs> and how's that been so far, being an independent artist? I, um, it's It's got its ups and downs. The ups of it are the fact that you get to retain your creativity. You know, you get to do what you want to do vocally and lyrically. Um, but the downside is you get to fund everything yourself. You know, you're not under some huge record label funding and backing you on everything but I, I, I personally love it because it allows me that independence that I've always wanted musically. Okay so you obviously you have been outside the country for a very long time. Yes. Where, where were you? I was born in Kaduna um, so I, I left Nigeria when I was 12 years old so okay. I've lived in uh, well I lived in California for about 15-16 years and then I moved to Houston, Texas where I currently reside okay. so I've been in the U.S. for 20 years Wow, yeah. so you're back home for something? Yes, I'm, about you here? yes I'm back um, on tour for about 3 weeks okay. I was in Abuja last uh, well, over the weekend and then I'm back in Lagos for the rest of the time before I leave mm -hmm. So, uh, times like this, I mean you don't come to Nigeria every time Yeah yeah. Uh, are you looking forward to probably collaborating with some gospel artists here? Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Anybody have in mind? Probably you're talking to them right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a, an upcoming artist. She calls herself upcoming. I don't think she's upcoming because I think she's amazing. Okay. But her name is Titi, and you guys will hear of her soon. But I am doing a collaboration with her. I okay. probably won't get to go into the studio with her while I'm here. Okay. Um, but she'll probably send me her music, and I'll be able to just record because I record myself at home. So okay. I can record send it back to her producers and work that way um but on this tour i'm just kind of meeting with people i've done a collaboration with pastor nathaniel bassi before okay on awamari d and minister talk about la b so i'm going to try to see them on this trip stand okay. out you know <laughs> and just chill um so yeah i'm just it's so i mean you've been around for many days now um Five, six, no, seven. So you've, you've gotten the feel of how those yeah. music is being done, how yes. they run it here. Yes, yes. Compared to the United States of America, is, yes. that big, is that a big difference? I would say there's a lot more, I don't want to say passion. Here or there? Here. Okay. Here in Nigeria. And, I, and I'm always very vocal about the fact that Nigerian music and Nigerian musicians have a certain fire in them. 
you know, that comes from discomfort. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and, and what I mean by that is no disrespect. It's yeah. just there's a lot more fire. Like, you want it more. Mm-hmm. You know, there, you're more committed to making a success of yourself in this place because you know there's so much talent around you. Um, and so you're just more passionate. And so what I've encountered here is there's just this sold out in this, you know. In the U.S., if you get sick, ah, I'll go to my doctor. You know, I was yeah. go to the hospital. Here, yeah. if you can't afford a doctor, you're like, bro, I need to pray and fast and ask <laughs> Jesus for some help. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. <laughs> there's just a different passion that comes with serving God wow. in Nigeria as opposed to a place of comfort sometimes. Okay, so 2020 has kicked off for you. You're having a tour here in Nigeria. Yes. What's next? Uh, what's next? I think I will be back in Nigeria probably again before the end of the year. Okay. Sometime around November. We'll see. That's okay. kind of in the works. Um, I'm finishing up my sixth album. Well, technically seventh. Okay. My sixth album was an accompaniment album. That's why I don't consider it a full album. Okay. But I'll be working on my seventh album. Probably working on a music video while I'm mm-hmm. here. So, and I, ha- I constantly have my podcast that I'm working on. Um, so, yeah, I just keep writing music. I love writing. Always writing, getting in the studio, recording music videos, and I'll be back again um, on Twitter. Okay, thank you very much for having yeah. breakfast with us this morning. Yeah. Uh, your, your social media handles, yes. those who want to check you out, see what you're up to. Thank you, absolutely. I am on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Just search at Tommy Favorite. that's T-O-M-I-F-A-B-O-R-E-D. No you, you guys, I know the <laughs> spell favored with a U in Nigeria, it's British English, <laughs> but I spell it the American way, so okay. T-O-M-I-F-A-B-O-R-E-D. Okay, International Women's Day, what do you think makes a woman different? What makes a woman different? Huh. <laughs> Interesting, that's a good question. What makes a woman different is her ability to be strong and yet tender all at the same time. Okay. Yeah. How does that even work? I'm trying to think about it, but that's, <laughs> that's another skill on its own. Yeah, yeah. It's just as a woman, you're, you know, you're strong, you're hardworking, you're forward, you're strong, but you have to be tender, you have to be gentle. You are the nurturer in the world, and without you, the world will not grow physically, okay. literally, but you're also going to be a nurturer, and your strength has to be tender. Okay, just before you go, a lot of people talked about this before, uh, we've seen gospel artists do collaborations with secular artists what do you think about that um the the thing for me is the message what is the purpose what is the message behind doing a collaboration with somebody you have to consider your audience at the end of the day if i am a gospel artist and i'm trying to do a collaboration with someone whose lifestyle is questionable to my audience specifically then um logically it's a wrong move just because it might not be received but you don't think it's you being judgmental it's not about being judgmental it's kind of like if i want to serve you a meal and i know you don't like something but i keep making it and offering it to you and expecting you to like it i'm just being counterproductive and wasting my time so I'm not being judgmental because at the end of the day, listen, your life is your life and you're going to stand before God on your own. And it doesn't stop me from having a personal relationship with secular artists. Musically, we can have common ground. Okay. But when it comes to doing a collaboration for an audience that I'm giving this music to, if they're not going to receive it, then I'm wasting my time. All right, Tommy, thank you very much for having breakfast with me. Any shout outs before you go? Uh, shout out to my brother, Peter <laughs> Haystruck. He's my manager. <laughs> he has been so helpful to me, and I just want to give him a shout out. And of course, to my amazing husband, Shea Lesh. He's a saxophonist. If you haven't heard of him, go look him up. He's the best thing ever created. It's not going to have access to your music, your songs. Uh, my music is everywhere. I mean, I don't know if, uh, I know Boomplay is pretty huge in Nigeria, but yeah. I'm not on Boomplay, but I'm pretty much everywhere else. So Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, Napster, wherever you can look me up. Just go on Google, type in Tony Favorite, and you'll find my music, y'all. Okay, Tony Favorite in the building. She just <laughs> talked to us about her music, and of course, a tour she's doing in Nigeria. So um, the tour you're doing right now in Lagos, anywhere can people come turn up? Yes, absolutely. I have my full itinerary listed on my page. So again, find me on social media, Facebook, okay. IG. I have my flyer with pretty much all the dates and the addresses of where okay. I'm going to be. So y'all can find me. All right, thank you very much for joining us this 
beautiful morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I